to my channel. Today's gonna be a fun day, girl or boy. I'm gonna be sharing with you how to create a functional and just all around beautiful playroom for your kids that's a safe space for them and it's also going to be here to help keep them entertained and keep you entertained because if i'm being completely honest biscuit and i love this playroom just as much as the kids do so here's a little tour of our playroom i did put it up on my instagram and tiktok and facebook so please make sure that you're following me over there because i share that kind of content all the time I am Life by Leanna Michelle. I'll put the description of that in the video as well. But today I just wanted to give you a few fun tips. My first one is going to be to find a soft sitting area slash play space that they can jump on, lounge on, read a book on, any of those things. We have a few different ones. So we have our sectional here. This is fairly new to uh, Casa de los Tu and we love it because it can be a traditional couch it also folds out into a lounger and you can also turn it into a sectional but we also have our corduroy's beanbag chair it's great because tatum loves to go over there and just like read his books or get up there caleb can climb on it he loves it but another one that's a great alternative too is the nugget we do have one of those as well and that is currently in tatum's bedroom and he loves it because it, it, you can set it up to be kind of like a couch or you can turn it into like a ramp or it kind of looks like a little tree house. There's so many different things that you can do with it. And for the cost of it and the amount of time that they play with it, I promise you it's totally worth the money. But find something soft that they can jump on, play on, and be creative with. I promise you will not regret it, okay? Next up, this one is kind of like not negotiable okay you need to have some kind of table in the playroom doesn't matter what kind doesn't matter what brand but a table and chairs that fits that fits them their size is a must because tatum uses his all the time we use it all the time it's great for crafts it's great for him having his snacks on it's great for him to sit at and color or do something with his markers or us just do some kind of fun project definitely need some kind of table that they can sit at and you know, just do something that is still. So definitely need to have a table. I'll put some of the links in the description of ones that I've found on Amazon that you can get, but I'm sure any place like Walmart, Target, anything has something that will work well for you, okay? So another one is, it's not a necessity, but for me personally, I find it to be very fun for the kids is a teepee or some type of canopy. So, of course, we have two because I overdo everything, um, but we do have a teepee. Tatum loves the teepee for just the sole fact that I can put some toys in there and I can close the teepee. It still gets great ventilation because it's got a window in it, but he likes to go there sometimes because as much as he loves his brother, <laughs> um, he just wants to get away from him. He wants to be in the playroom, but he just wants to like be closed off. That way he can play with his toys. Um, I even put some little lights and stars on it. So it's really fun, like even from the inside and the outside. And he just goes in there and he just kind of shuts himself off, but is still present in the room. So if you have multiple kids, it's definitely a good area that one or two children can go if they just want a little bit of privacy. Plus, it's really fun. So definitely the teepee or a canopy or something creative like that. Um, and then, of course, we have a bookshelf and we also have an IKEA Calyx bookshelf. So these you can also get, like for me, Ikea's two hours away, okay? I cannot be, as much as I would love to just like get in the car and go, I can't do it, girl. I can't. And it's, it's like an all-day trip. Like you want to get breakfast, have a coffee, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Take your time, stroll around. You don't want to be rushed. But you can get those same kind of bookshelves from Target and Walmart. Again, I'll link some of those below. They're very similar um, in cost and look. So, I mean, they're basically the same thing. But, um, the reason why I like those is because for one, you can put books on them. The idea is to try and keep things at their level. So Tatum's like three foot tall. Caleb is one, so he's really just kind of crawling and pulling up. So they can't really be creative and have fun in their space if they can't reach anything. Of course, some things like markers and crayons, I do keep out of reach because I don't want to come up here and again, we're in a safe space. <laughs> that includes safe for mama and daddy too. I don't want to come up here and they have written all over my walls. So things like that, paints, markers, crayons, um, you can definitely keep it like a higher level. But the fun toys, like we love our Love Every toys. 
and just some of the other things like little ramps in his cars and things like that, I keep down at their level. So it's really easy for them to get them so that one, they're learning how to be independent and two, it keeps me from just having to go and grab something every time that they want it. You know what I mean? Um, and then when it's cleanup time, it's easy for them to go ahead and put things up. With the Calyx system, I keep everything in its particular cubbies because when we do clean up time, they know exactly where everything goes and then they know exactly where everything is when they wanna go back and play with it. So make sure you keep their toys at a level where they can reach them so that they can be creative and they can learn how to independent play. Huge tip. You can also get, um, some, like if you wanna do a bookshelf, that's fine. Of course, the trending thing right now is just to buy like the floating shelves. And we did that in Tatum's room when we lived in our house before here and loved it because you can just put them like top to bottom. It's, it's these, <laughs> this is them, this is them. Now, of course, I've got mine right now displaying some photos, but I have two more that are in Caleb's room, but you can put them on a wall and then lounge the books back, lounge the books back? <laughs> lay the books like up against the wall. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Like you got the shelf just like my photos are back here. Just lean it so that the books are facing forward. So they see the picture, they recognize the book, they know that they like that book, they pull the book down, they can reach it. They sit down on the floor or in the TP or in the soft sitting area and they can look at the book or the pictures or whatever. Again, the idea is to keep everything at their level. So love that idea. Definitely think you should do it if you want to take things up a notch okay i did a video a little while ago and i'm also going to be posting one in the next few weeks of our ikea kitchen that we transitioned into a fully functional toddler kitchen love it because what we did what we we put like a small mini fridge in it it's got running water the whole shebang i'll link the video to the original one below but keep in mind i'm going to be showing another one in a few weeks of how i i just I took her from like a five out of 10 to like a 15 out of 10. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause you are gonna wanna watch that. But then they can get their own snacks. They can wash their own hands. They can get their own drinks. You can put a little trash can beside it so that they can throw away their trash once they're done. It's not that you don't want your kids to bother you. You know what I'm saying? If you need something, I got you, I love you. But if you can also learn how to be independent and get things on your own, that's great too. So. Definitely not a must, but it's fun for them because he can also play in the kitchen, but it's also functional if he wants a snack or a drink. Just saying, okay? Um, another thing that I definitely think you should do is get some kind of rug. We have a rug down here, but I noticed that the kids really like their fluffy ones in the bedroom. You like your fluffy rug in the bedroom? Huh, you wanna come sit? Uh, tell them about your fluffy rug in the bedroom. He has got a rug in his bedroom that's black and white and it's super fluffy and they love to just be on that rug. They make some that have like the alphabet on them. You can get some with little animals on them. It's just fun, it's soft. With Caleb, he's one, so he's constantly crawling around. And honey, if I don't keep pants on him, his little legs will just get like, his little knees will just turn so red and like raw looking and I gotta put the lotion on him and then you feel bad and you you're kissing on all the boo-boos, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, get a soft rug for them to play on, put their toys on, relax with, and then what's a couple of other fun things that we have in here? What about the solar lights? The stars on the ceiling, do you love them? It's a little projector. So the couch folds out, and if we wanna have a movie night, so that your playroom can be functional for everyone, then you can buy this little solar light. We keep ours on the bookshelf over here. And at night when it's dark in here, you turn it on and then like this huge galaxy just shows up on the scene and all the stars come out and they just spin and twinkle and it's cool looking, isn't it, right? Um, and then we have the lights that are on the TP. The reason why I say this, these aren't must, but one, they, they really make the space creative. And it's almost like you walk into a museum. If you take a child to a museum and they see all these really cool lights and bright colors and things that they can play with um, that are easy for them to access, that's the goal. So th if you notice, or if you have like followed any of my other videos, the rest of our house is very neutral, relaxing tones, but this is the room that we knew we wanted to put a lot of color in. We wanted it to be fun. We wanted it to spark interest and like 
you, they look around and they're like, ooh, what am I gonna touch first, you know? Um, so do pick, have fun with it. Pick some wild colors. Mm -hmm. Hang lights in the corners of the room. Hang lights on the teepee. Hang lights or stars inside the canopy. And I'll link some of those too. The projection screen is a fun one, um, just to make sure that um, it just it kind of transitions at night. If you want to do something um, higher for arts and crafts. Ikea has great things too that hang on the wall. They're like these little buckets. You can mount the bracket onto the wall. The buckets hang on them. And then you can put the little markers and the crayons and things like that. And then you could even take one of these white floating shelves and put under it where it is at reach for the children. They can reach the coloring books, but then just mount the bracket with the buckets above it so that you can put the markers and stuff. That way they still see all of those pretty colors when they come in. They just can't reach them. You know what I'm saying? Mama needs to get them, right? Also, put some art in the room. Put some art in the room. We love, we have these little wood frames. A couple of them are up here. And I found some prints on Etsy that are just like the alphabet. And it's got like an apple, an A for apple, B for banana. It shows like a map of the U.S different things like that, but put them down at their level. Because again, if it's up high, they can't see it. They're not really focusing on it. They're not engaging with it. So if you buy some of that art, of course I've got things like a little higher just to kind of decorate the room. But put things lower. That was great when Tatum was younger because he would go around and he would, he would look at the pictures and be like, Apple, Apple, when he was learning letters and words and things like that. And girl, command strips are your best friend. Get the sticky back command strips, they're Velcro. All you have to do is put one on the wall, one on the picture, and then they Velcro together and they go like that. And then when you wanna take it off, you take it off, you move it, you're not putting a bunch of holes in the wall and it's not a huge mess. So also do some soft lighting, um, like a small lamp or something like that. So at night it kind of becomes a calm space and things like that. But really that's the biggest ones. Have a space or something that they can lounge on and jump on and climb. They also make these wood toys that are like little bridges that they can climb over. I just don't trust my kids with them because they are clumsy and it stresses me out and takes my anxiety to a whole nother level. I like soft play toys. Um, find you a, a hidden space that they can play in. So like your teepee, your canopy, get you a nice rug, get you some wall art. Wooden toys are great. Again, I'll, I mentioned it earlier, but the Love Every toys are fantastic. They're a subscription-based company. You've probably seen them in some of my other videos. Um, I'm gonna see them. Okay, go see them. Um, but they're great because they're hand-painted, they're wood, they last forever. It teaches them how, like puzzle pieces and how to count and We've got also a toy from Love Every that's like a theater that just pops up that we keep in the basket over here. So when they wanna pull that out, we can do it. So find creative toys that aren't just toys that are mechanical and they push buttons. Find stuff that they can build stuff with, like ramps. Like we just recently did something with the monster truck ramps. Um, we've got the theater thing from Love Every. You put it together and you can make a little puppet show. Um, all those different things that are just stuff that's gonna hold up, they're great quality, and it's teaching them more than just how to listen to a sound on a book. You know yeah. what I mean? And then make sure you get you some books for your room. Anyway, yeah. this video may be all over the place and I'm sorry, but I hope this helps and I hope some of the pictures and images and videos that I've shared on the video um, kind of over here to the side have helped give you a little bit of inspiration. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Mm. Can you do it with them? Thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Mm -hmm. Comment below if you have any questions or suggestions or <coughs> ideas of what your playroom is. And make sure you follow us on all our social media platforms at mm -hmm. Life by Leanna Michelle. Who's your daddy? Mm -hmm. Say K-bye. Yeah.